Ready? Play. Love the team. the power on the forehand side and there's the little nuance already in the opening game with the big kicker from Sinner into the backhand side up high to Sitsipas. Good strategic option early on. He's not going to get hurt by Sitsipas from up there. You find that telling, do you? Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? From the get-go. Sinner has to keep the ball away from if he can. The Sitsa pass forehand. It's, it can dominate opponents. And he is very quick for a big athlete to get back to his left there and take it on the forehand wing. Good feel on the third point. Hasn't taken him any, any time at all to make that ball feel good on his strings. with the big serve just trying to keep obviously sits a pass honest on that backhand side 15 Postolis is the dad of course he was out there watching his two sons play against uh, Kulov and Skupski yesterday that was a tight affair top seeds getting through 10-7 in a deciding set tiebreaker a lot of tennis for Steph to come into this match with you find that a strange decision he was playing doubles these modern days Not for him. He just loves playing tennis all day long. I remember one time he played in First Marseille game. with his brother and was playing singles there. Lost the doubles, went out for another two and a half hours practice. He's doing and obviously wasn't planning to go that deep. First four games of the set. Advantage, Sitsipas. Well, that's the ball that Sinner, we know he hits it well, and tonight it will be invaluable. Is Darren Cale on the right. Um, my old Davis Cup partner, he's becoming, a, is it fair to say, a bit of a legend on the coaching tour, I, th I think, Petch. He's been with so many players, three number ones, in fact. Leighton Hewitt, Andre Agassi. Simona Halep on the women's side. So Darren is a good man for Yannick Sinner to have in his corner. And I bet they've talked about that backhand down the line we saw on the first point a lot before Long the start of this 30. match because Sitsipas backs away looking for his forehand and can get caught if you're good enough to make the back the two-hander down the line.
lot boomerang of break. Certainly feels like it right now, doesn't it? This has been a very untidy game from Sitsipas. I have to say that coming in, there was very little wind, but I'm looking at the guy's shirts here, and it actually does look a little breezy down there on the court. And a man that perhaps can fill us in on the conditions has made his way to the side of the court. Roger Rashid, welcome. 15, Thanks for coming along. Welcome, guys. Welcome to you guys for bringing me along. Is it windy down there, Roger? Uh, it is windy down there. It's coming. It's supposed to be going with with the wind. It's quite strong, actually. So that was a that was a really important first break, I thought. But uh, they're both players just just adjusting. He's so confident, isn't he, on the forehand at the moment. 30-14. That return wasn't out of the middle of the racket, I don't think, from Sinner there, but it didn't drop too short. Not a lot of pace on it, but it was reasonably deep, and he just knocks it off. Taking a leap out of Sinner's book there, throwing in the three-quarter kicker up high to the backhand. Just looking at some of the numbers from last year. I mean, talk about trying to keep his forehand quiet. Behind his first serve last year in their meeting, he hit his forehand 94% of the time. Advantage, Tsitsipas. So it's a big target for Yannick to try and keep that forehand quiet because obviously from that shot, shot three, shot five for Steph is also probably going to be a forehand. It gets tougher to find it. Bit of sizzle from Sinner on the return. Look at that. Fourth chance to get back on serve. He's a master, isn't he, getting yes. a forehand on his first ground stroke after the serve. Oh, it's, a, it's tough because early on you've almost got to take that backhand down the line and it's a very tough shot. You've got very little ground in which to, to hit it into and you've got to land it perfectly, but Steph just hits that serve and backs into the backhand corner. Oh. Game Titsipas. 
It's an interesting start strategically for Sinner. I said last year he didn't create a break point. He has, City of course, Pass created four already in Sitsipas's opening service game. But there is an argument to say that that was because Sitsipas was a little untidy rather than there was anything that Sinner did apart from the beautiful backhand down the line. And you can see the problem for him. I mean, that's just 144 Ks. I kind of feel that he should be up on the baseline at the start of this match off the first serve so he can try and coax the ball cross court and not give Steph so much time to be in that backhand corner and try and cut that angle off. Love your team. It's a much more abbreviated service motion Senna had when he first came on to tour and uh, as uh, time has gone by and as I say last year he's kind of lengthened that swing to try and get better accuracy on his serve. It, it has worked, there's no question about it. It's a, a much more fluid motion, didn't have a great slider out wide on the juice. I don't think it's still as good as perhaps it needs to be, but it's definitely better. Fold. Simone Vagnozzi, who's next to Darren Cahill, been looking after Yannick as well when Darren isn't around. Good return 40, from Sitsipas. That's a pretty good job on his forehand as well. You'll often see more returns missed on the forehand side. Actually, I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but most players try and take a bigger swing and they actually end up missing more. But he's pretty even, as you can see there, but makes much more on the backhand side. It'll be interesting to see where Sinner continues to serve on the second serve tonight. It's less threat on the backhand side, but there perhaps is a few more points to be had. Game Sinner. There's that accuracy that's improved on serve. It wasn't good enough in the opening game. Senna, who uh, began 2018 unranked, broke into the world's top 100 in 2019, ended 2020 as the number one teenager in the world and capped 2021 as the youngest player in the year-end top 10, age 20, since Del Potro, who was the same age in 2008. He has been an exceptional talent. He's taken the elevator right up into the elite echelons of the game. Behind the players, any seats for now? Thank you. But has won just one of his 16 previous matches against top five players at tour level, so has players just been you. lacking that final piece of the puzzle in recent times.
Yeah. That's some really good defense uh, by Sitsipas. Fair to lie. Fair to say that he hasn't always had the best block return on the backhand side for a one-hander or the best slice, but pulled out the scalpel for that one there. Fold. Some heat on his forehand too, though, isn't there? Thirteen, fifteen. So part of, I guess, part of the defensive mindset against the Sitsa pass forehand is to do it yourself. Hurt him yourself. Let him know that if he varies too close to that wing, that you've got a weapon there too. It's been a good start, hasn't it, by the Greek? City pass leads three games to one. Yeah, and for all the great tennis that we know Yannick can play, I suppose, Fitzy, the, the, the big question mark is, is what can Darren bring in terms of flexibility and variety if that rhythm that he's giving to his opponents is actually a nice rhythm that somebody like Sissipas is capable of dealing with? Yeah, well, I guess there's a number of ways you can sort of adapt. I mean, one of them is to stand up closer, like you've suggested, not just on the return, but try to take, you know, take your body up to the baseline area or give and take a meter of it and and hit the ball back a little earlier but the back and down the line for me from Sinner is important if he if he gets in some rallies he needs to be able to use that shot yeah. because by using that shot you you can throw that forehand mentality of sits a pass off a little bit he, he's always going to have his body weight leaning to his left in the rally looking for the forehand It's already made the last eight center of all the Grand Slam tournaments. Three of them last year at Australia, Wimbledon and the US and made the quarters of the French Open in the autumn Paris edition in 2020. Versatility there, I bet you like that, Rog. Yeah, that was a perfect ball there. The variety is really important, as you said. I think a couple of things for Sinner. When he's at this end of the court, he needs to stand up because the ball's not quite getting to him, but it also then you can rush sits a pass. But sits a pass, yeah. the biggest talking point really for me is his ability to move, judge the ball off the opponent's rack and actually cut the cut the court off. It's it's a reason why he can dominate with his forehand. So more important for Sinner to be up close to the baseline at this end because the wind's behind his back. And the Sitsipas ball is dropping a little bit short because of that. Game Sinner. Comfortable hold. An uncomfortable start, though, Fitzy for Yanni. Well, that's what Fitzy tells me anyway, and I'm not going to argue with him. Well, I was going to say, it was a big statement from an Englishman. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that, that is a real compliment. Well, that's what we're all we're good at. Big statements, no substance. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, any seats for now? We are ready oh, to those continue. empty seats you saw at the beginning, they're almost full now. Just a couple of gaps, which I'm sure will fill. Yeah. 
safety line. That high, heavy kick is not easy to deal with, is it? E even with a, a two-hander, which gives the returner more strength there. He's a tall athlete and gets that bounce right on this surface. It goes high. So the down-the-line return is not easy. So it sort of takes that option away a little bit, the bounce. Held that beautifully. There's the versatility in the forehand. He, he doesn't necessarily have to smash every ball. He he just measures this one. He has plenty of time, but it's short. So he has to hit it a little, not quite as hard. A bit more topspin there just to control it. What a master at getting the forehand. I mean, that, the kick surface hits the pass is really important, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah, especially the second court rash. Yeah, because when the wind's going down the court, there, it actually leans towards that second, that part of the court. And so he, he, he gets some extra value out of it into that pocket. Forward. That's a bad return. Okay. That's not good enough against Tsitsipas. He's going to have to do better than that. Tsitsipas leads four games to two. Just too many options there as well. You're, yeah. you're stuck marooned in the middle of the court as well. At least if you get it to the backhand side, you can cheat a bit for the backhand cross court coming your way. That you're almost forced to go backwards. Incidentally, he was the first man, uh, or the youngest man, I should say, since Djokovic to make all four quarterfinals at such a young age as well, Sinner. He is, again, when you look at his kind of achievements already in his career, he's right up there with the best. Fold. come forward a little more now than he did six 12 months ago yeah very much so. well that's that adds versatility to his game gives him some more options something I think Ali Asim has to learn more success with that serve out wide on the outside at the moment from that end in particular again that block backhand which doesn't come naturally to sit a pass Lovely smile. 14 long. You know he's a good kid, don't you? You yes. really do. Well, I'm, I'm sure he also, he's also had some reflex volley work with uh, Darren Cale over, over the pew as well, so he put a smile towards Darren saying, hey, I've got a reflex ball. <laughs> I'm not sure Darren would have taught him the approach of cross court and run in though. Fold. He 
he's a scary athlete. Yeah. He really is. That would have beaten most players that seen a forehand. 40, 15. And of course, I mean, great shot center hits here, but you've got to be careful coming forward. If you, if you give a guy a running forehand, he'll burn you so often. Most guys wouldn't have with that one. And that was probably a bit more rare than... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say. But don't just stay back. <laughs> Come in down the line with the next one. You're saying, uh, I'm inside your head. Truly enchanting rally. It was, but Sitsipas had the upper hand from start to finish. His ball 14, was a little heavier. Sinner was reacting beautifully, but the pressure was on him right through that point. Good contest between the two of them. So this has climbed on his shoulders. So happy he's here again. Stuff of legends. He and Ken Rose were my heroes. Rash, what about you? Well, I'd have to join you, Fitzy. Don't yeah. say Mark Petchy. <laughs> Nobody would say that. <laughs> Yeah, good aggression there, and we need, I think, a bit more of that from Yannick Sinner. 15 on. That's putting a bit of pressure on the second serve of Sitsipas by stepping in and swinging. doubt in the server's mind and create a well a double fault to follow that aggressive return oh my goodness he's lighting it up 15, what's he doing 14. differently rash stepping in isn't he yeah he is he's trying to cut the court off and take the time away and and that's the way to go. You've got, you know, when someone's bullying you a little bit, you need to decide you're going to throw a punch back. I hate to admit, Rash, but Petsy suggested this three games ago. That was a special return. Oh, nice change up there from Sissipas. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve as well. Gee, he was coming in after that surf. Interesting. 30-14. Be interesting to see what he feels he needs to do here. Can Sinner flush another one on the backhand side? Does Steph feel as though he needs to move this first serve around? Center. What a game from Sinner. 
it felt all along in this first four set that Sitsipas was on top and four points later even Stevens but it was actually a combination wasn't it the cross court forearm for Sinner was unbelievable but that wasn't easy it's not easy to hit the ball with both feet off the ground for a clean winner his crew inspired as are we What's the point of me saying it? You know what I'm going to say, Mark, right? It, it, he had the... Gee, I get frustrated. He had the forehand to go off there and come in. If you go to that forehand there with to sit to pass his forehand, you virtually have to hit a winner. If, you, if you're going to follow it in, it's OK if you go for an out-and-out -out cold winner, but don't just hit it as an approach shot straight to the forehand wing. Good. I should have been saying yes, yes, yes for the sits of pass forehand because that was worth commenting on. Yeah. It's still a shot that has got a lot of ceiling room, that slice back end. Golden time for Greek tennis at the moment as well. See, that's the same principle. It's a bit harder to make a split second decision here for it's a good approach here from sits pass but he's left with volleying into an open court and if you don't put that away you're in trouble well especially below the net height because it needs to go up you actually can't knife that into the open court so that needed to I'm, go back behind center i mean yeah and we we have to give Sinner credit the rest don't we that that the foreign approach was very good it was his two ground strokes were outstanding to win that point There you come in. There's a vastness out there, isn't there, on Rod Laver Arena. 15,000 people hardly making a noise in your... in the arena, literally. shot wasn't it and it moved pitch it was because because it's going up against the breeze it actually moved in the air as as Sinner was attempting to strike that so it caught him a little and you can only hit those type of shots against somebody like Yannick Sinner if you back your foot speed and you have the athleticism that Tsitsipas does it allows you to introduce that type of strategy and here he is opportunity to get the break back it's fast and furious out here on Rod Laver tonight. Fold. Sitsipas finds himself in the opening set, serving for it. Yeah. 
15 line. One of these guys is 24 years of age. The other one, 21. Three years is a big gap at that stage of their career, isn't it? I think we have to keep this in mind. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as, uh, sits, excuse me, as soon as Sinner miss hits a ball and it takes yeah, longer up. to get down the other end, he's in trouble because this forehand is so good. So he miss hits this one and it drops a little bit short and it, well, not that short, but it was slower through the air and sits a pass had time. Strong ending to this set, isn't it? After losing his serve. These two games have turned it on its head. This set. Yeah. Good return. Found the back end. Still feel as though he's positioning at times and it's going to be different from both ends tonight because of the wind as well with how quickly the ball gets up in the air. It's just a little off at this end at the moment. It feels as though he's still reaching for it at times above his shoulders. He's either got to go back and let the air come out of it or get up there and try and take it before it gets above his shoulders. Well, for the neutrals, that was an excellent set of tennis. It was better for the Greeks that are in the stadium tonight, for sure. The Italian is going to have to come from behind. Down a set. Good mates with Darren. What would you like to see from Yannick? Uh, look, it's a, it's a tough ask. I mean, you're talking about different standing positions. I think you've also got to stand where you're comfortable you know, to return as well. There's a, there's, you need to have a comfort level on the court. I think Yannick, you know, he, he got himself back. His amazing record last year when he dropped the opening set. He ended up with 10 wins and 10 losses. A 40% win-loss record in that regard when but you've pitch. lost the opening set is a very good record. To be at 50% is incredible. It is pitch, but he hasn't done it against this man, has he? No. The four losses any time. He has not been able to get a set in those matches. I think the area where Darren's going to help as well is that I always found that um, Sinner got a little down on himself, a little bit, just came off a fraction. And that edge, I think Darren will add is to stay in the moment, forget that, push, push that aside and get on with what's in front of you. Yeah, he's a positive guy, isn't he? He's overhit that ball a few times so far. He needs to cover that a bit more. That's when he backs easy. away and then hooks it inside in, he's hit that over the line a few times. And I think when he's with the wind, you can understand it a bit more. But that one is into the wind. So he's going to have to spin that more, Roger, I think. Or hit it even lower to the net if he's going to hit it with that speed. Oh, 
That serve looked bigger than 194 to me. I mean, that, that's a big first serve, and it didn't crack 200. That's had his fastest serve of the tournament in the opening set at 209. Sinner, ball's definitely getting through the air tonight. Fold. Gee, that was a good second Game one. Very Sina. impressive second serve there. Steph looking for his sixth Grand Slam quarterfinal of his career. Where'd you rate his forehand, Roger? Out of the top ten, where is it? Top five, top three? Yeah, I'd, I'd put it in the top three, I think. And you know what he does so well? He picks the ball off the opposition's racket so early. It's incredible. Match that with awesome movement. Dangerous. Good. You, you almost feel like his his eyes are darting that he's that aware don't you rash he's his senses are heightened yeah and he gets the ball on the rise and he gets it at on the apex as well and perhaps i think that forehand there's nothing that he can't do off that wing is there off most balls agreed he can access short parts of the court with it as well the spin rate's good enough Fold. but he can also flatten it out See, there again, yeah. just needs to be able to lines. try and guide that ball into the backhand side. It's through the middle, it's on the forehand. You do not want to be giving Sitsipas a ball. You can see there from the forehand Evans perspective, it is way above average, his shot. You have to keep it quieter in those moments. Yeah. And I suppose the question that we need to pose is he got the dexterity that the likes of Novak and Andy and those players have to be able to pick Sitsipas's backhand off the return. Forty thirty. Four. He tried to take that one early, trying to cut that angle right off. He was a metre and a half. One game on. Inside there. But still had trouble with the ball. Bouncing high. One all second set. Just a quick shout out to uh, all the stewards and Tennis Australia as well, because I'm just looking around the upper bowl here and they are letting the fans in here at uh, one love and one all and, and not keeping them out, which is, uh, which is great to see. Everybody getting back in their seat nice and quickly to continue watching the drama unfold. Not good enough. So there's an area that, an obvious area that he can improve on. And in three years time, when he sits at past his Love age, I suggest this will be better. That's not good enough to uh, to beat the man of of the speed of the Greek here. Jeez, he's sharp. 
sits a pass. It's the sharpest I think I've ever seen him. He, he's, he's on a mission. Finished off in the end by Sinner. 15 on. He was quick too. And he, he was a long way behind the basin, wasn't he, when he was drop shot of there? It wasn't the perfect drop shot though. Thirty on. Petros in the uh, pink Adidas top there, next to Patricio Epe. Of course, he, as I said, played doubles with Steph yesterday. Still trying to uh, find his way onto the professional circuit in singles as well. Very crucial forehands today, Sinner, and that has been the separator so far. And that is another one. 30, 40. And is that courtesy of the feel, the feel that he has inside that I, I need to get it there quick because Steph's moving so well. And Break point. That is too good. Game. That Tsitsipas. is really too good. What a strong one hander down the line there from Sitsipas. And he strikes it up high to the one hander from Sitsipas. You know that Djokovic is going to bring something like that into a contest like this. He's got it all going on, hasn't he? Yeah. I think that's a better way to say it. He's got it all going on. Does he have it all yet? Is maybe the, the question. And he's getting close, isn't he? Not many players in history have had it all. the one we talked about earlier it's Beating an asset on. if he can hit it in the court strategy for us 15, to uh, highlight 30. extremely difficult to execute like that 
got his court position absolutely perfectly there. He's hit a couple of great touch volleys. His more forceful volleys earlier on didn't look 100%, but gee, when he's got time, that touch volley is pretty darn good, isn't it? He got what he wanted, Fitzy. Yeah. Got that short ball, that break away to the backhand side. And again, probably rushed it knowing he had he had space. And he, he knows how quick sits a pass is, doesn't he, Rog? He, maybe that can make you overplay sometimes. That's probably the part of his game that can improve a bit more, I think. The one-hander. But we're picking at small things. Well, at least I am. This is not a small thing, though. This is a route back into the match here for Sinner straight away. It's a pass is hit, but Sinner was good enough to take it. And where did he approach? Two games on. <laughs> the young 21 year old. Encouraging 15,000 people. you play and when you do have the pace off the ground that Sinner does on both sides you are going to create space in the forecourt for the drop shots you have to be so wary yeah, lovely little grip change there and it wasn't even the best the second bounce went past the service line you're trying to keep that second bounce inside the service box if you can but the little slip it's a pass couldn't get there Broken twice coming into this match, twice already tonight. I mean, that is outrageous, 14, isn't it? 15. It takes Kia's legs.
sits at pass. 40, 30. Virtually on every forehand is full throttle. He's swinging out of his boots. Three, two, set cased out here tonight brilliantly. And by two young, wonderful players who are going to play a prominent role in our future. Look at every, this. Yeah, every point now. Months. I mean, he is absolutely ripping it. He's up 7Ks. It wasn't as though he was just caressing it in his previous rounds. That's an indication that he has to up it. He's got he's got the leg speed of Sinner defending. shoes there 83 miles an hour for those of you that work in that particular metric as well and I can tell you that that is elite you don't see many players sitting up at 83 miles an hour for a set and a half on hard courts as well and particularly against somebody like Sinner that takes your pace away because of how hard he hits it Fold. If that, as we have seen tonight, uh, a few drop shots from Sitsipas is the plan, 15, or whether that 13. just for the first time tonight was a, a situation where he'd run out of ideas to some degree. Didn't miss that by much, but enough to put more pressure on Sitsipas' serve. It's, it's getting a little tight here now, isn't it? He's thrown everything at Sinner these last few games, and Hasn't succeeded fully yet. Just his second ace of the night. coming into this and in his opening three matches so Sinner doing a good job there of keeping that number lower Gee, it's, it's just goes to show it's hard to be at the pinnacle of the men's game here without a big serve isn't it he's calling on it right now because he's needed it Bit of the new balls by the boys, in your opinion. I'm gonna. Oh, that's a tough question yeah, right now. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a returner here. That sounds totally counterintuitive. I'm going to be proved 100% wrong. 
going to think he's going to have half a chance. Maybe, maybe you know more than us, but generally speaking, yeah, it goes with the server, doesn't it? Two oh nine is quickest. That was two oh five. And if he can keep landing a high number, he is going to be absolutely fine. It's incredible how many uh, first serves he's made in here. Almost eighty percent. And it continues. Thirteen. I mean, I remember when 60% seemed like a good number in the men's game. I mean, 70% seems just normal nowadays. And the speed's higher as well. I mean, the guys are obviously getting taller in general. Fold. Some of us are shrinking. Difficulty factor. Long. Nine and a half or ten. You can't believe he could hit a winner from there, really. But what balance he has. I was just taking a look at his first serve percentage on hard last year, Sinner. He's at 59%. And when we've been talking about the balls here being sort of a little heavier and stuff like that, that's why you can start seeing numbers appear like almost 80% as he has done tonight. Absolutely no chance for Sitsipas to get into it. Credit to the Italian. Beautifully done. It's gone up considerably here for Sinner in the second set. That's making life a little easier for him to try and make get some traction in Sitsipas's service games. Can he continue the trend in this one? Roger, you've been coaching for a long time. How much do you think the movement has changed in men's tennis in the last 15 years? Oh, dramatically. It's it's almost uh, it's from another world, really. You know, we yeah. have a few players. We need even think of someone like Leighton, who was so good movement-wise and could get that last ball, one more extra ball back. Look at what Novak does now. So players are actually been able to be move aggressively across the court, but then play with some offense. Extraordinary. Down. And I suppose my follow-up question quickly on that is how? Well, I think the, you know, the athlete's a little different. The, 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 the way they train now, all the all the extra, you know, the power work that they do off the court, I think just the preparation to become an athlete has changed. You think smaller athletes, you know, is it logical to say they'd move quicker? Okay. Because the trend in tennis is that the athletes are much bigger now. But we're coupling that with saying that they're... Four games on. They're quicker. They move better. I don't know. Well, that's his fastest serve. And I, I actually think the bigger athletes now, they're more balanced. I think that they can cover more ground quicker because they're more balanced. And as Roger said, they're, they're better conditions. But the bigger steps you can take and predict where the ball's going to be, the more efficient you are, the quicker you move. You have less breaking steps. So the smaller athletes actually have to take more steps. 
So the taller you are, if you can learn how to move correctly, you mm -hmm. can move faster. Absolutely brilliant. He got a little lucky with one of the backhands that found the line. The one thing that Tsitsipas does against Sinner as well that 30. he doesn't do necessarily against other players, he actually drops off more for Sinner's second serve. He lets the air come out of it and drives it with a lot of pace from a lot further back than he generally does against other opponents. And you can see how many he's making. And he's turning the screw at the optimum time. Opportunity and you go grab 40. it. It was a good first serve over 200 Ks, and yet Sitsipas found himself at the net after the next shot. Thank you. Triple break point. Let for service. And that's the objective for Sinner, especially if he, he gets a second service to try to force with the first return, get it deep. And on the first ground stroke, makes it, makes it a pass defend. Then you can take over the point. So be aggressive here. He's definitely trying to do things out there tonight. Center, you can see here, he's trying to take the ball uh, a little, a little later. He's trying to take the ball a little, and it is troubling him. And you can see there that he hasn't quite made the adjustment that he perhaps should have done. But that's interesting, isn't it? That yep. for me, th th this second serve is bouncing higher than all the other opponents. That, that increases the difficulty factor for the return. It's getting through the hit zone very quickly. It's like a, in baseball when that ball's moving through the, the strike zone quickly. 
you're also on this side here on the second serve he's trying to pull it too far to the sideline where he can actually just drive it into the backhand side quickly made a couple of errors into the net trying to get that angle Fold. Sinner needs to be appropriately aggressive with this return, but he's got to make sits in pass play. <laughs> Sensational Sinner. He's back to the wall, and he's got to 30, produce here. 14. What a forehand to finish this point. And that's the discipline he needs early on in a rally, isn't it? Find the backhand, trade with it, look for a chance. Yeah, don't get behind in the point is the objective early, isn't it? Much easier to do on the second serve, obviously. Are the Italians coming, Pitch? He's given himself a chance. Gee, what concentration. That's impressive. Juice. I tell you, some other players can learn from that. Well, he took it on the chin, didn't he? Yeah. Got a warning when he, he's about to go into his motion, he just ignored it and pounded an unreturnable serve. And that's going to take him a long way to winning this match. He's focused. Good stuff. Fastest second serve of the tournament for Sitsipas on this set point. Landed it, couldn't land the forehand. Well, obviously, unfortunate to miss it, but the wisdom in why was he taking it inside out to the forehand of Sitsipas at this stage of the set? Second set point. Set away, sits a pass from being back four. in the quarterfinals here Six in Australia. Everything Third else, but to serve. it's an electrifying. Senna, who came back from two sets to love down in his previous round, has got to do so again. Down. 15 long.
Now it's C15. Well, it would be understandable if he had a little bit of a letdown from an adrenaline point of view after the intensity of that second set, particularly in closing out. He's trying to guard against it. You can see how disappointed he is with a couple of forehand misses already in this game. He's going to have to take a few more risks, I, I think. I mean, we've talked about his aggression. It's been good. Because if he's not, sits a pass, will be. But you walk a thin line sometimes. Starts working as well, Sinner might be in trouble. Yes. I guess he's already in some form of trouble, but that's another string to the bow here for Sitsipas. There's a lot of things about his one hander that you love as well. One of the reasons why he does well on clay, he's tall. Um, he's already up high for the high bouncing ball. He takes the racket away nice and high as well, Sitsipas. So when the ball gets up there, it's not as though he's got a low takeaway and he's got to go and catch the ball up high. He's already up there to meet it.
becoming a fairly precious game for Yannick Sinner here already at the start of the third set. Needs to tuck it away in his pocket. Yeah. Not yet. There's the first sort of serve and volley that we have. He doesn't look that comfortable, nah, does he? He doesn't. He's waiting for the ball to come to him rather than going to meet it. Yeah, that yes. was not a true serve and volley. Was, didn't look like a true serve and volleyer. But, but he's got to play that. He's got to incorporate that into his game. So I admire that, but it, it didn't look that competent on that occasion. There's a man who can teach him, though. Back early, running forward, he was thinking across court. Here sits a pass. Advantage, Sina. And Sina moved that way. So he moved to cover it, and he changes his mind, I think, and goes up, but didn't control it. He actually had a lot of space in front of Sina to drop it low, didn't he? Sina was actually covering the lob. There's still a clear and present danger ahead of Sitsipas tonight, but there is still danger when you have somebody. First game of this third set in keeping with the rest of the match. Terrific watch. When you go to Sitsipas's forehand, you've got to, you've got to go there specifically deep for one thing, and try to penetrate with your own forehand. Don't just give him one in the middle of the court, or his forehand's too good. Fold. You had that shot, didn't you, Rog? 30. I hit it once, I think, it, in practice. <laughs> Stop exaggerating. Stop exaggerating. Yeah, well, we There's no there. video. We There's no video it. footage. It didn't happen. It'll, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow, Pitch. <laughs> I like the answer, though. Awesome. 14. He misses one by a whisker and he's very upset, but it happened at a big moment. You almost get the sense that he was so desperate for this sort of scenario not to unfold. Not to go cold after what had just unfolded over the previous sort of hour and 40 minutes. But he is facing a couple of break points. Thirty, forty. 
What do you think the odds are that he holds from 1540 with this serve? I would imagine. Better than 50 50? Yeah, better than 50 50, yeah. nose in front yes. in any of these sets has he Well, this is an interesting little moment. He wanted to go over to the tower, yeah. but of course he's on the clock. Yeah. He would lose his first serve if he takes too long to get back. So he hasn't gone and he's just slowing up here, taking his time, making sure that that doesn't happen. Something else to manage. things when you watch Steph play particularly on the outside and he gets uh, when you watch him play the top five players he, his numbers on the outside on uh, go down significantly yes. in terms of points one he, he falls left on the serve so he naturally gets a forehand into play if you go cross court with that return they're, they're good enough to find some line sort of returns and, and actually beat him into the forehand side occasion and try and keep him a little bit more central it doesn't hurt him as much on the juice, obviously, Steph. He drifts into the middle pretty quickly after leaning left. Yeah. But the deep hard return, yeah. if he can, if he can pull it off Sinner, Sinner, it helps his cause. Same number of break points that he converted against Sinner last year, four for four. Sinner, though, is having a much better job in terms of creating chances. But there is nothing you can do about a, a diagonal yes. dagger like that. Fred Lever, who's on the left of your picture there in the grey jumper, he's his fitness trainer. A little bit like a car mechanic getting tossed the keys to a McLaren, but uh, he's done a wonderful job with him. But he's got a lot to work with. game to hold that was one game on
That was a meaningful hold of serve, wasn't it, Fitzy? Yeah, from both perspectives there. Thank you. Roger, is it still windy or is that died down now? No, the wind's still there, there's no doubt about that. So this is going Love to be, you. you just see already there from Tsitsipas, he's pushing here. He sees it as a moment after surviving that break. Yeah, it looked like he died down on the power on his forehand there, like he was very comfortable with keeping a good length that Sinner wasn't going to be able to hurt him from the other end. Didn't want to make those unforced errors that he did in the previous Italian service game. You see Sinner as a major winner? Yes, me too. And you certainly see Sitsipas as a major winner. Yeah. I, I mean, just purely because they're going into an era where there's going to be more opportunities, there's going to be less people that have won double-digit majors, and, mm -hmm. and, and we're coming out of that. Are you of the are you of the opinion that tennis would be better off with more major winners, or is it a debatable point because you create great players when they win many? Yeah, I, I prefer. I think the rivals we've had has made the two of the last 15 years. Personally, I, I think you know the the big four rivalry is what's what's made it. Sure what Roger thinks, but I, I, I like the thought of having more major winners. You know, in, in tennis, you, it's it's hard if you're ranked 80 in the world. I mean, you can win a major in golf if you're ranked 80, but in tennis, you can't do that. I, I, I'm not sure what you think, Roger. Well, I like rivals. I think if the, a sport needs big rivalries. Okay. Good change up. And maybe this will become one one day. It'll be interesting because I'm about to show you something as well. That's KG Darren Cahill. <laughs> 15 lines. Not sure about going back. What do you think? I'm not convinced. Although having said that, I think on the on the ad side, it's not working for him at the moment. Um, on the second serve, but there's not a lot you can do with the first serve. If you've got to get the return deep, I've, no matter what way you look at it, I think. He's got to try something, though, doesn't he? Well, I just think it's on the ad side that he's probably had um, the least effective court position on the second serve. There's nothing you can do about that kind of serving on the first serve, to be honest. Doesn't seem to have the hand skills 
like the best players in the world and the elite players that can kind of stand up on the baseline and then just guide that into the Sitsa Pass backhand. So he has to give himself a little bit more time to swing at the ball. So he's won that point, and this is what I was going to say. Get a little granular with some of the strategy out here. And when you take a look at that, this is where he's been 14, doing a great 30. job on the juice side on second serve points one against the Sitsi Pass. But on the side where the break points come, the majority of the break points come in tennis, that is not a good number, 55%. That's the side that he needs to kind of make an adjustment with on the second serve. And maybe that's what they said to him. Go back on the ad side. You've been in a bit too close, and it hasn't worked out for you. Yes. So for the second game in a row, not clear sailing on the Sitsa Pass surf. been contributed to by uh, just Tina. a small dip from Sitsipas's end of the court. A slight flat spot. Do you sense that, Rash? Yeah, there's no doubt, Fitz. He's not quite that electrifying, that alertness. It's still pretty good, but uh, as you said, it, it only needs to be minor. Guess as well. Yes. Look how much room there is down the line here for Sinner. The depth of the yeah. shot that creates that opportunity. The first return. The stadium is alive. Back, look at him. He's getting, he's actually getting coached midpoint there. Oh, he's dusted yes. the line. Can you believe it? Even better than he expected it to be. I don't have much doubt he didn't mean to go that close to the line. I think he caught it a fraction late, and he's he's counting his lucky stars there a little bit. He tried to go down the line, but not that finely.
<laughs> what a sight. And Van Page, Sino. One of those rallies where you can do absolutely nothing wrong and still not come away with a point. Sinner, magnificent. Australia's missed this. This crowd is awesome. begin. It is a long road back, but he has taken a significant step. And the significant step came because he took a step back on the at point as well, coaching from the stands. And as he found the formula, like he did against Fushovic in the previous round, where he suddenly plugged away on his opponent's backhand, is a retreat the right way for Sinner to regain territory in this contest? He's made them believers. Thank you. And I think Darren's heard his stripes there. He'll be happy that uh, his suggestion has paid fruits. Oh. Yeah, he's got to get in quicker if he's going to do that, doesn't he? I think. Well, I think that's the biggest part of his, uh, of his game is his transition, his step is too slow. You watch where he gets to from here to, to where he moves. Look, the first step is left with the back foot, so he's stuck. So that's a whole second, but look where he is. He actually doesn't have a split step, yeah. which is the issue, the main issue. There's no split step when he comes up, so he actually can't power one way or the other. He's not bad for 21, is he? <laughs> and we're just starting to realize why Sitsipasa puts so much emphasis on the early part of this third set to try and not get behind, to try and keep his man down. He didn't want to face this formidable force. Goodness, this is great entertainment. Double the number of sprints, as you can see. A lot of hard work for the Italian. may or may not find about the cumulative effect. Say that again. As we get to the fifth set, after he's had just a five-setter, if Steph can keep making him work as hard as that. Fold. Gee. 
Wrong shot at 13, the wrong time there. 14. Bad luck. He's played so well to get up this break. He, he, no reason to go for that. He had to push that deep, surely. It's a microsecond you've got to make that decision. So it's a pass on the rebound here. Yeah. And given what it just missed, I'm sure yep. that the only person in the stadium that thought the drop yes. shot was coming was the man that was playing it. <laughs> well <Yes>. said. <laughs> you need you need a feathery touch for that. The perfect shot. Pace and placement. continue. Yeah. 15 lines. Productive shot for center right now.
Equal faster server than I for Steph. Quick service game. And he's going to get back quickly to doing what he knows he needs to, which is looking for a break of serve for the Italian. Yeah, and it won't be easy to serve this set out. These two next next two games, Sinner will have to play some really good stuff, you'd imagine. Him. It wasn't sort of a tactic I, I was really thinking of to, to beat Sitsa Pass with, but he's having more than his fair share of success now. Well, he's also Fitzy and Pet pushing him side to side, isn't he? And he's, he's accelerated his, his ground stroke, so he gets to hold some better court position. Yeah, he can stand in and take, take the drop shot earlier, eh? exceptional from center at the moment as well and there has been a significant shift as you can see here since the pass through sets one and two had the bigger of the uh, two men's forehands out there by 10 k's but that's dropped off by nine and sinner's found an extra five on his forehand in sets three and exactly what roger was saying he's been able to establish a better position in rallies which has allowed him to use the drop shot which has allowed him some freedom to play even better and a 5-2 lead he's closing in on the third set the Italian cut back and try and sort of sort of hobble through the next couple of years not tennis Australia it is bigger and better Led for service. than ever It's not that true that they modelled that movement of the ball on the drone with your serve, is it? I knew something was coming. Oh. There was an out call, wasn't it? Correct. Nothing wrong with your hearing. That's the defense no. requesting the replay of the call on the left baseline. Well, Sitsa Pass was starting to pump his fist, but there was an out call. Already taught in the chair. Love the team. And this would be a significant game for Sinner to be able to grab, you, grab the third set and you open up the fourth with your serve. Big moment for Sitsa Pass.
Gee, what a what an effort to turn this third set around like this and give himself a fighting chance. It was like a laser. 15 30. Flipper's falling asleep. Oh no, he's not. Well, I think he's a little concerned right now. He heard you. 15 14. And that's obviously easier to make when you've got the freedom of the lead and everything else. Yeah, and obviously, exactly. when he tried to play it on the set point, it was almost impossible. And he had a route back perhaps in the second set. He has very much got a route through to the four set here. Two set points for the Italian. He is dominating. And by his standards, that was a very, very makeable shot. Well, his, his third set level Sinner has been Sinner. A, oh, very impressive. Struggling for adjectives here, but he he's lifted two levels, hasn't he? Quality strike brings up a third set point. This is keeping things interesting, though, isn't it? You know, I, I can't help thinking. Three weeks ago in Perth, when I saw this backhand, it wasn't as effective as this from from Sitsipas. He, he's Rog can tell a bit easier on the court surface, but it looks like he's transferring his weight more, and the ball is heavier. Sitsipas, he was against, he was right up against the fence, wasn't he? But you're Sina, right, look, I didn't see him in Perth, but he's three. definitely, he's definitely loading up and bringing the weight on the front foot and and getting his body through the line of the line of the ball. So it's effective, it's heavy, and he's got the ability to 
hit those angles. I bet that's Mark Philippoussis. He was talking about it in Perth to me. Well, that's how Mark played, didn't he? He liked to yep. get on the front foot. Well, he's been on the back foot for most of this third set, but can he get back on serve? He's given himself a chance. It looked very unlikely. But a bit of pressure now on Sinner because he hasn't been able to take the three set points that were on offer in the previous game. Unexpected gift on the opening point delivers with the ace and inching closer again to this set. <laughs> Brushed off the disappointment of the previous game. Seventh ace of the match, and he's about to put the first set of the match on the board for himself. Game and serve set. And what a way to do it. Sina, Scintillating serving from Sinner. Two Sina, sets to one, though, Sina. to sit about. But we need to. And these breaks are interesting, aren't they? Because you can be running hot, and then all of a sudden that extended break, six and a half minutes, nearly seven minutes. Yes, yeah. it, it can change I don't a lot think, of things. I don't think I am a fan of it, actually. I, I mean, I want to let the crowd have their fun and whatever they need. I guess other sports do it, don't they? They go off at halftime. But it, but it does have an influence, Roger. I agree with you. You know, you go off and, and you can be red hot and come back out and you're slow. Slow starting again. Let's see if it affects Sinner here. Well, he's, he's three balls in a row. That's the second forehand he missed. Like he lost control of that, so only the first game. Fold. Because he, he didn't play a great game there, did he, Senna? First game, four success. Four. That would be more critical. Surprised to see Steph up inside the baseline there for that second serve. He's done a nice job of letting the air come out of the ball and drive it from deep most of the time. Is the pressure just confusing him a little bit?
Oh, he's found his range there. It looks like though. That was the ball early in the match. Rossi was Rossi hitting with the wind from the end he's at now. And he was having a bit of trouble keeping it inside the baseline in the in the first set. But gee, this is impressive that he can hit this for a cold winner. That's a low percentage shot there from Stefanos, trying to change the direction. One game on. I like his body language. like he deliberately went off there he almost looked like he was looking in that direction so he and that's probably another tactic because they know sits a pass backs away to his left It's a very heavy discussion there, isn't there, mm. in the box about something that Petros feels like he's seen. Feel when he does that, Four Roger, he, he hustles so fast to get in after the second serve, and it's all good. And I like, I like the variation and the tactic, but he doesn't look off on balance, or he looks a little bit off balance there when he hits that backhand volley sometimes, and doesn't do enough with it. Yeah, gee, that was a big miss, wasn't it, from Simo at the end? Stop. It's almost like he doesn't get set and then transfer his weight to put a bit more on that backhand volley. He just sort of fends it off his body while he's moving forward. Yeah. And it's interesting, Pets, you can go over all the data you like. It's pretty simple. 40, 30. The Italian has got more offensive which gives him a little bit more control, so it's whether Tsitsipas can actually push back against that. You know, he, he was the man in the first two sets. Complicating things at times in his mind, and it's thrown his rhythm off. Yes. He was the best front runner last year. He had the most match wins.
But he is facing a determined comeback here from the Italian. Land for service. Okay, if he breaks here, we've got us a bowl game. Sino. There'll be some worry in the Sitsa Pass camp. Well, it's another break point. It's the third time he's missed a first serve. Real opportunity. Watch Sinner. Here he goes. Back he goes. That's what he's been told to do. Yeah, and the serving volley comes when he's way back. So that's how they're trying to counteract it. <laughs> yes. It's a great thing about this game, though, right? Yeah. But I'm not sure he needed to pass, did he? He didn't need to go for the pass. He could have actually... Well, directly it, at him. It's the perfect counter attack. You have to be precise from way back there if a guy's roaring in fast. And that is harvesting yeah, so many points for the Sino. Italian. Well, it's the back end down the line that we've talked about can open the court up. And this is a different circumstance for Sitsipas to deal with when he has to move wide and chip his forehand defensively. He's hustling back to his left, and the drop shot comes. None of that could have happened if the return wasn't as good as it was. Sinner hasn't hit. And if you're in the other camp, you know that he needs help here. Looking up there more and more, Stephanus. Fifteen on. And Apostolos didn't say anything then. It's unusual. Yeah, he's in a riptide, isn't he? he he's just he cannot get out of it at the moment, and he's uh, he's searching for ways.
thing's starting to look a little ineffective, isn't it? It does look like the zip has come off his forehand, doesn't it? Uh, C15. Not generating as much racket head speed. This is a serious smash, by the way. Beautifully struck. When you're playing somebody that moves as well as center as well, any loss in pace is going to be significant. Modification on his service action. after his last match which lasted three hours and 33 minutes he said nothing wrong physically at all but all the good work in in the off season i feel great and he looks great to be honest thank you pastizio is struggling against lasagna right now <laughs> It's full of mates. Long 15. And there is threat lurking around every corner now for City Pass. That's a first serve that has just blown past him. No easy points coming his way. <laughs> 15 on. I just sense a bit of a classic coming. We've had a few, haven't we, this week? Yeah. The ground strikes of Sinner against the backhand of Sitsa Pass. Right now, 15, too good. 30. He stopped getting as many forehands, it seems. Is that half a step? That's well, look at that. that. I mean, his first serve points one in this fourth set, down at 42% right now. Just asked Hawkeye to look at his backhand as well. He's making 16% uh, of uh, the shots off that side. Uh, uh, errors now. And that was just a 10% in the opening couple of sets as well. I mean, in a match that's got way for thin margins you yeah. suddenly lose another point yeah and and overriding this for me is that if this was best of three there was no drama at all 
Now we have drama. It's best of five. Easy. Davis Cup doesn't have that anymore. 14. These majors do, and this is where the great matches evolve from. He's not trusting his shots as much. He's therefore not throwing the racket as fast at it. He's less effective, and he is under all sorts of pressure now. The third seed here at the Australian Open. Sinner on the verge of a second break in the fourth set. Let's for seven. Down. Excellent serves. Yes. Fold. He's starting to overpower, sits a pass from the back of the court, doesn't he? Oh, most definitely. When, when they're in the rally now, you you naturally are looking towards Sinner to winning the, winning the battle. And it's the physical battle now. And I'm with you, Fitzy, playing doubles yesterday. I don't see how anyone who's looking to win a major can be spending days playing doubles matches. Just doesn't work in my books. That's a heck of a point, by the way. so important to hang on to these service games in a match like this as well because the longer you can at least extend this four set even if you don't win it there's a chance of course that there's going to be a little bit of a dip from the other end of the court the quicker you allow Sinner to win this set obviously the longer he can extend this purple patch that he's currently having Points played on serve significantly lower for the Italian. Less effort. Fold. Seems to have bedded down into quite a few backhand cross courts as well, Sitsipas. He's struggled, as we said, just missing a few more. And that's significant because it encourages Sinner to go into the backhand more, knowing that there's some reward there. 
but also he's not moving it around as much as he was in the opening couple of sets. It's fairly predictable. Hold. Great second serve, wasn't it? He sensed that Tsitsipas was moving to his left to take a forehand. And a great accurate second serve. 15 on. To open the point up for him. Yeah, and a quicker one as well, almost 10 Ks quicker than his average. It's technology that calls it. Solid hold, wasn't it? Gee, looks the goods right now. He also looks like the favourite, you know, when you look at the loop. You think he was the favourite coming to this game. And it's supposed to definitely his body language is it's languishing. But a big change, Roger. Those first well, the set and a half at the start was just it was awesome by Sitsa Pass, really. And this is what happens. Thank you. In five sets, there can be big changes, changes of form. Well, it's like there's metal in the ball, and he's a magnet. Long 15. Everything that sits a pass hits is coming back. And it's great to see a 21 year old in this situation wanting it so much. flexible with the strategy he's been pliable he came in on that second serve and just ripped the return he's giving sits a pass no rhythm he's not giving him the same look at anything at any stage and the only advantage that sits pass has right now is it takes a lot of effort and hard work to get yourself back from two sets of love down That is his fastest serve of the tournament, and he lost the point. 
indicative of how things have turned around for Tsitsipas out here. Well, that was a little bit more like the first set. Formidable 13, forehand 14. from Tsitsipas. That's the challenge when you change your serve, your return position up, isn't it? When you go that deep, you've only got a long way to send the ball, and it doesn't always go where you want it. He's left that a bit short, Sinner. But you love the fact that he's looking for ways to make Tsitsipas's life even more difficult out Thank here. Thank you. Two incredible holds from Sitsipas to keep himself in this fourth set. Cena leads four games to three. His face tonight as Players something that he can't you. overcome. The Italian honing in on a place. Potentially in the quarterfinals if he can push this through to a fifth set. Again, leaks another error. Well, he's just indicating he's having trouble with, with it, and I'm, he's asking his father there. When you have trouble with it, with your technique in the middle of a match, it's pretty hard to change, isn't it? Tell you what, there were two gutsy holds though from Sitsipas. It's given him a chance to get back into this set. Yeah. It looks like his ground strokes have just lost their mojo a little bit. They're not they're not quite as heavy. And I wonder, I wonder about the doubles now. I mean, I hadn't thought of it until you said it, Mark, but it who knows? Just a bit flat here he is. That backhand is overpowering Sitsa passes. 40 love.
begs the question Dave for me. Sino. Patch and Rog, would you teach a youngster a two-hander or a one-hander? Sino leads. If you had a choice. One to three. In the modern game. Two for me. Rog? Yeah, I think two in the modern game. And, yep. and most of them are generally picking a racket and swinging the two, aren't they? It's yeah, two for me. It would be even better for Sinner to break now. To serve first in the fifth. Fifty long. It's the first time I've seen such a pass really get after his forehand as aggressively as we saw in the first two sets. So he's definitely he's pulling out everything at the moment just to hang in here and put the balls back in Sinner's court. an indication that you'd prefer not to rally with the Italian. Huge second serve there. service game as he had the previous Sina couple and that will be a relief to him support. but Sinna will serve to take us to a fifth Boom. man looks to push us into a deciding set sense that Sinner needs to blink here but as you can see here things have been changing around many more backhands being needed to be hit by Sitsipas. is that an indication that he's felt a little more tired can't get round his backhand as often modifying the serve, paying dividends here for Sinner. Fold. Fold. Well, Pass jumped around there, didn't he, before the first serve that time? As Sinner was looking down, he moved to his left about half a metre or so. It didn't stop the rhythm of Sinner, but it might have contributed to a loss of concentration on the second ball. 
We will never know. He's doing it again. Yeah. 40, 30. Set point. Yeah. Game and four set Sina. Six games to four. Absolutely brilliant from Yannick Sinner. Two sets on. He has never looked defeated at any stage, yeah. even when he went two sets of left down. And right now he looks. Thank you. Incredible get. 15 months. I mean, Roger, you were meters from him. Yeah, and such a close thought initially that was going out. And, well, you couldn't see that, could you? Coming after what we've seen over the last two sets. Extraordinary on the opening point. What a blockbuster start to the fifth set. Not the outcome that Sinner deserved after that get. Fritz actually had the best record on tour last year when it got to a deciding set. Sissipas second best with 19 wins. Played big time tennis when he needed. He's going to need it tonight. Coming just a, a little bit of a liability, I think, Roger. Yeah, and uh, he's feeling it as well. It was so clean in the first couple of sets. It was penetrating. It had movement attached to it as well. It's easy to say get around and use your forehand, but if you're not in the same physical condition and you're, your mind's not that alert, it's hard to get that initial step to get around and get active. He's trying to fire himself up here to surpass. He knows he needs to change something. He's talking nice and aggressively in a positive way to himself.
this is going to hone in on the backhand, you would imagine. One game on. Great slice, wasn't it? And you can see the ball there coming off the frame. He does that quite often when he loops the backhand, sits a pass, mainly when he, you know, repeat in Perth, he, his body weight seemed to be going back a little bit, but, and that caused him to get a bit more frame. But he doesn't, he normally hits it in with a higher loop with that. Beautiful athleticism and technique on the volley there. He's certainly line. worried, though, isn't he? He's trying to positively talk to himself. There. Those two tough games only serve halfway through the, the fourth set. It, it, that has a bit of a cumulative effect too, I think. doesn't serve well in the fifth that win predictor would be a lot different than 52 48 oh. and going for more there than he normally would Quick second serve. Uh, just maybe caught Sinner out there 13 Ks quicker than his average for the night. So, but Mark, you can tell the mental approach of Sinner now. He was all over that. He, he, he wants to be aggressive on the second ball. He knows if he is. Game oh, good well, it's got all the ingredients to be a classic. Two games to one. Also, the match point last year, both lost from two sets to love up against Novak Djokovic. Center, of course, at Wimbledon last Love year. Sits to pass in the final of the French in 2021. Eight and six, as that is one millimeter out from Sinner. And what a great defensive lob that was from Sits to pass to get it up there and challenge Sinner again with an overhead. There, the first point of this fifth, did that have an effect on him?
is barely missed as well, I think. But such are the margins in a match of this quality Lama. and this importance. Seems like a bigger Greek contingent down there, Roger, is there? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Triple break point. Hold. Wasteful, no question about that. He's got himself in the wrong position. But what we might be just seeing here is actually the value of hanging on to serve in that four set a couple of times. Yeah, Sinner's been playing perfectly now for about two hours and 20 minutes. This is the first dip he's had, it's not easy to keep sustaining it. Center. A slight miss hit, it looped, 13, but dipped onto the line. 14. And then he hit that. It's been over an hour and a half since Sissipas has had a break point. Two have come and gone. What a pivotal moment now. The last one in this sequence. Is that the moment? Yes. Nerves of steel. Under normal circumstances, pretty hard to mistime that ball. It was so easy. And he hit it on the frame halfway up the net. It's pressure. That's what it does to you. Thank you. How you start is how you finish, isn't it? We're, I think a terrible three points and then a fantastic five. Gee, Mark, we're going to, if, if Sinner wins this, we're going to think back to that, that sequence right there. Courage. What a forehand he has, too. What a temperament as well. Got a helping hand on the first of the three break points for sure. Sits a pass, mistiming that one on the second serve. And then played some beautiful tennis to get himself out of trouble. Gee, the, the sits a pass camp after that will be as flat as a tack. Can he rebound? Be 
Fatima. Answer to your question, the answer is yes. Good solid game so far here from Sitsipas. We go on to adventures unknown. What is known though is set to pass into this. Still all to play for. Routine shots at this stage of a major Love in the team. fifth set. Everything comes with extra pressure attached. The forehand has regained its form. Love 13. You can see his mind's active, his body's active. He's got that fast movement back in his feet as well. So you can, he's definitely pushing here. Really sense it on court. So Sinner would definitely be feeling the Tsitsipas press here. Well, it's adrenaline that does this. front foot in the last 15 minutes you've got to hand it to him become more aggressive using the forehand like he did in the first two sets and Yannick's first serve is not going in enough
Gee, that looked like it hurt him a little bit, Roger. 15, 14. Just a flesh wound. and it truly was his willingness to show discipline when it looked as though he could have pulled the trigger on his forehand and tried to gone for the outright winner he backed himself to survive what if anything can Sinner do now the adrenaline and you just expect him now to serve better don't you just goes with the territory and it completely alters the terms of engagement doesn't it for Sinner now he's had it on his terms for the last couple of hours plus not anymore I was going to say it was against the trend, but the trend had changed slightly within play. Sitsipas has become more aggressive. He's come out to win this. To take it away from Sinner. Equal faster serve of the night. The adrenaline is pumping. As Sitsipas is accelerating towards the quarterfinals. Three times a semi finalist here in Melbourne. He's lost a couple of times to Medvedev, once to Nadal. He's been a patient understudy to success here in Melbourne. But he wants this year to be his year to be the leading man. And he has clicked enthusiastically on the terms and conditions of what it takes to be a champion at one of these major tournaments. And it a minor delay coming up here, I think, as uh, the towel is needed for some of the perspiration that is on the court. Two players that have left absolutely everything out here tonight.
59. He's missed a few forehands, hasn't he? I mean, it's a fine line. He, geez, hit it well. And it's big, but he has overhit a few. A bit more spin. Or stick with what he's got. I think you've got to trust your instincts at this stage. This is survival. I'm all for a good day to point Fitzy, as you know, <laughs> but I'm also understanding that in life, these moments are better when you just feel it for yourself. It's happening too fast. It's too meaningful. It was a pretty funny moment, to be fair. I'm glad he can laugh about it <laughs> yeah, in the moment. Exactly. Wasn't the most terrifying animal that will attack oh. him in life. It looked like he'd just been charged by a lion. <laughs> yeah. 40, 30. But this is anything City but a formality. Five games to three. First point is big. Stuff of legends, these performances. Legacies made.
Now. Just two out of 25 first serves in this set. 40-15.